What's up everyone, it's Zoe from Sleepopolis and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Casper Element. The Element is Casper's budget-friendly mattress. It's an all-foam mattress that has a medium firm feel and it's going to suit a range of sleepers. If you're new to Sleepopolis, what you can expect from this video is a rundown on quality, materials, feel, and policies. And remember you can click below to find my full written review and links to our Sleepopolis giveaways. Now let's get into the Casper Element. All right, now I wanna talk about quality. Quality is a common concern among new mattress shoppers. You wanna know whether or not what you're gonna be getting is gonna be comfortable, and importantly, how long it's going to last you. So budget-friendly mattresses aren't always the highest quality, but I am a fan of this one. To start, I'm gonna share what it's made of and assess the quality of the materials. So to start out is a cover made from a hybrid knit weave. It has a soft feel, but it also has a super durable feel. So I'm thinking that this cover is gonna last you a while. I also love the fact that it's easily removable so you can wash it as many times as you want. And then next up, we're gonna find our first top layer of Casper's proprietary Airscape foam. Now this foam is perforated with holes, which prevents it from trapping body heat, which is great for hot sleepers. And it has a super uh, pressure relieving and soft feel. So you're gonna get some nice sinkage from this layer. And then next up below it, we have a base layer of high density foam. And this is what gives the mattress its support and acts as the base for the mattress as well. Overall, these materials are what you'd expect for the price. You have just the basics, but I would say they're high quality basics for an all foam mattress. Another quality question I encounter quite often is about edge support or how well a mattress holds up on the sides as compared to the center. So I'd say the Element has decent edge support, especially for a budget-friendly all-foam mattress. When I was lying on the edge, I felt pretty supported. However, I will note that when I was sitting on the edge, I did kind of feel like the bed was collapsing beneath me, so if you're big on putting your socks on while you're sitting on the edge of the bed, you might not find what you need here. Another question I want to answer is about durability. How long is this bed going to last me? Typically, an all-foam budget-friendly mattress is not going to be the longest lasting option on the market. However, I would say this bed is going to last you between five and 10 years. But a good thing to know is that Casper backs it up with a 10-year warranty. So if you notice premature sagging, you could return it. Okay, now that you know what this mattress is made of, I wanna talk about how it feels. So when feel, I like to start out with firmness because that's gonna give you the best idea about what it's gonna feel like for you. So firmness, we rank it from one super soft to 10 ultra firm, and 6.5 is the industry standard for medium firmness. So I gave this bed a 6.5 right on the money for industry standard for medium firmness, and that's mean it's gonna be good for a range of sleeping positions. However, I would particularly recommend it to combo sleepers because it performed really well on our bounce test. High bounce means it's gonna be easy to move around on this bed. You're not gonna feel like you're stuck in the bed and can't get up or switch positions easily. Now that 6.5 firmness level, is also, I would say, ideal for back sleepers because they want something that's gonna be a mix of pressure relief and support. However, it, there is a possibility that it could be a bit too firm for some side sleepers and a bit too soft for some stomach sleepers. It does depend on your preference. If you're a side sleeper, you typically want a mattress that's just a bit softer than this one, although I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. I do think this mattress still does work for side sleepers. Um, and then again, stomach sleepers. So this bed does have a more on top of the bed feel, which I typically recommend for stomach sleepers. I think if you're a light stomach sleeper, this could work for you. But if you're an average weight or heavyweight stomach sleeper, I'm not gonna recommend this mattress for you. I would tell you to go with something a bit firmer. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, guys, this perf bed performed really well in our bounce test. It had a pretty high bounce and pretty high bounce is great for combo sleepers. Also good for couples because it helps you move around easier. Next up is our motion transfer test. The way we measure motion transfer is we drop a 10 pound steel ball from three different heights that are meant to mimic different movements you would commonly feel in bed. So this bed surprised me. It had really high bounce and yet really low motion transfer. That doesn't usually happen. Usually a bouncy mattress you're, means you're going to feel movement from the other side of the bed on your side. However, I saw that this mattress had a really low motion transfer. So what that means is this is really good for couples or anyone who sleeps with a pet because it means that you're not likely to feel their movements on your side of the bed. Last up is our pressure map test. So the pressure map test is especially important for side sleepers because it shows you how much pressure is being exerted on the mattress. We do this by using specialized technology. Um, it's called a pressure map and it lies on top of the mattress and then I lie on top of it and it records how much pressure is being exerted. So as you'll see here on my side, there was a tiny bit of green, but it's not too much to worry about. However, if you are a side sleeper, especially someone who suffers from shoulder pain or hip pain, you're gonna want a softer mattress because you're gonna want something that you sink into even more.
Okay guys, now that we're almost finished with this review, I wanna round it out with a list of pros and cons. So I'm gonna start with the pros. I love the price on this mattress. It is budget friendly. And for the price, it has pretty high quality materials. So I was impressed with this. Next up, I also think it's great for combination sleepers. Anyone who tends to switch positions because it has that medium firm feel that's comfortable in a range of positions. And especially if you don't spend all night in one position, you'll find it comfortable in all positions. Last up, couples. This mattress has high bounce and low motion transfer. That's the sweet spot for couples because it means it's bouncy enough for sex and has low enough motion transfer that you're not gonna be disturbed by your partner tossing and turning. And next up, cons. So I think that this mattress, if you are a strict side sleeper who suffers from shoulder pain or hip pain, you might not find this mattress soft enough. And if you're a stomach sleeper who's not super light, if you're an average or a heavyweight stomach sleeper, you're probably gonna find this mattress here is too soft for your needs. And last up, I didn't think this mattress had the best edge support, um, but that's pretty typical of an all foam mattress. It just really depends on if that's something that you're really looking for. All right, last up, I'm gonna tell you about some of the policies for the Casper Element. So first up, it has a 10-year warranty, it has a 100-night sleep trial, and they also offer free shipping, and it is a bed-in-a-box mattress, which means it will ship compressed in a box. All right, guys, that's it for my review of the Casper Element mattress. If you like this review, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment below if you have any questions or comments. And also, I'd encourage you to check out the link in the description for the full written review of this bed. And also in the comments, you can find links to our giveaways where you can win a free mattress. All right, guys, that's it for this review, and I'll be back next week with another one.